Hello, sparkly people. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Vera Valentina, your favorite burlesque YouTuber, and today we're getting into my Halloween costume, Cruella DeVille. Now, I know you guys like it when I get straight into the video, so here we go, making my costume. For all my baby burlesquers out there, I truly suggest sketching out your costume ideas before you actually get into a fabrication, just like a regular designer would, because things are going to change. So this was my first costume idea. Uh, I had a dress from when I originally performed Cruella de Vil a few years ago, and I thought that I could make it work, and it turned out to be absolute garbage. <laughs> we tossed that idea. So this one's gone and we ended up here. And I thought I was gonna once again, get into some more burlesque on a budget because I had a dress that looked exactly like this. Now I thought that I could just dye black because it was burgundy. And that didn't work out either. So we had to trash this idea. Oh, that's my sleigh ride costume. Then we ended up here. We had to order some stuff on Amazon. Now, what's lucky about this particular act is that I've done the act before, so now I'm just refabricating a costume so I don't have to worry about all the craziness. I just have to put the costume back together. So I found a white dress, plain white bandage dress. Um, I have my tulle skirt already here um, from another costume, obviously, that I used to wear. And I'm gonna cover this in black rhinestones. I've got some red gloves, some red arm candy that I'm gonna put together. I've got a brand new white bra and white bottoms that I'm going to Dalmatian spot with rhinestones. And then I haven't decided if I'm gonna wear a corset yet. I think I might, but I am not quite sure. It depends on how the corset looks underneath the dress. Now, again, I am one of those burlesque dancers that does not like make from scratch. I am a purchase and embellish burlesque dancer. I don't have a sewing machine. So this should be interesting. Again, we're doing burlesque on a budget. I'm using things that I already have that I'm trying to remake. Let's see what we can get done. All right, so these are the pieces that I'm working with for this costume. Obviously, we've got the Cruella DeVille wig. We've got her uh, cigarette holder, red gloves. I'm gonna add some nails to them arm candy pieces that I'm going to put around my upper arms, obviously the underwear and bra, the bandage dress that I was talking about, and the tulle skirt that we already have. Then I've also got that dress that I wore um, for another show that I may or may not pull the feathers off of. Have not decided about that yet. So before we start rhinestoning, of course, we have to make sure that everything fits. So I tried on the bra and the high cut thong. Of course, I can't turn around. Otherwise, YouTube will have a hissy fit and demonetize me. So here we are. Um, I've also got on my Orchard Corset CS201. I think it is waspy black corset, but I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to use it. Um, I need to try it on with the dress. So of course, after that, I went and I got some footage of myself trying everything on with the dress and I recorded myself rhinestoning all of the underwear and adding some more rhinestones to my corset. However, comma, because it's me, it seems like all of that footage got deleted. So here we are with the finished product. I basically took some E6000 Fabrifuse, you know, my favorite product with some Amazon rhinestones, uh, which I'll have linked in the description box down below. And I glued them to the bra. Uh, I probably could have gone a little bit harder with the clear rhinestones, but as all of you burlesque babies know, rhinestoning is a long-term project and I still have time to get that done. Next up, I started on the signature Cruella DeVille gloves. Now, I want to do something a little bit different than what I normally do with gloves, and I decided to put some extra effort in the form of some nails. I went ahead and bought a pack of long red stiletto press-on nails from Amazon, of course, which I'll have linked down below. And I basically gave myself a press-on manicure, except with hot glue and except on gloves. And it looks so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, it has like a claw-like look, which works perfectly for Cruella. In the end, I also ended up adding some extra rhinestones to the nails and some ostrich feather boas. 
So I messed this up, but I'll fix it before I put rhinestones on it. I just wanted this neckline to be a little bit deeper, but here's where we are so far. I might run out of rhinestones. Shortly thereafter, I did run out of black rhinestone, so I decided to move on to the next part of the dress, which is the very bottom. I decided against using the tulle skirt. Oh, there's my fiance and I playing a stupid little game. <laughs> Anyway, I decided against using the tulle skirt. It didn't look upscale enough to add to the bottom of this dress. So I went ahead and pulled those black ostrich boas off of that dress that I showed you at the beginning and decided to add it to the bottom of this dress. And it turned out absolutely perfectly. I mean, look at that. So much texture, so much movement. I went ahead and added my hair. Um, I did a hair video um, or at least I tried to film a hair video of me rolling this hair and making it look good, but it turned out to be an absolute tragedy. I rolled it, wore it to a show without unrolling it, got to the show, unrolled it, and it was super unruly. It was way too long. I had to do some backstage cutting and trimming and blow drying. Like, it was really bad. And I'll show you the pictures of how the hair ended up looking like the very first time I wore this costume. My hair was really, really puffy and I didn't like it. And I also wore a different hair piece that just didn't work. Um, in the end, I figured that Cruella was a little bit more refined and I smoothed out her hair a little bit more and I added a little bit of feather to bring in the top of the head to the bottom of the dress. The other thing that I also added um, is a choker and I actually made this choker originally for my uh, Red Bottom Showgirl costume but it just so happened to be super transitional. And I also uh, look at this as a great trick for burlesque babies with their jewelry because you know, as burlesque dancers, we buy cheap uh, rhinestone jewelry all the time and it falls apart very easily. The way to keep your rhinestone jewelry from falling apart and still being fabulous is to attach it to something. This is like a dance competition trick from back in the day. You can attach it to a can or a nude piece of fabric. For this particular piece of jewelry, I took a choker and I attached it to a black piece of spandex and then added snaps. So it's way easier to put on and take off as opposed to having to deal with all those clampies and flippy things when you've got your long nails and all that stuff on. And this is... It makes it more comfortable to wear on stage. In general, it doesn't get caught in anything and it's super easy to just snap on and snap off. And I'm going to do the rest of my jewelry like this from now on. I can't believe that I even forgot this trick because I used to do it as a dance student in dance competitions back in the, the 90s and the early 2000s. Now we've got this cute choker. Um, you know, we love to accessorize a burlesque outfit. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the dress so you guys can get the rest of this Cruella de Vil magic here. If you're not already doing so, follow me on Instagram and you can see all the fabulous updates that I'm putting up of all my costumes and everything that's going on in my burlesque life. Anyway, let's get into the dress, right? <laughs> really quick before I put the dress on, something that I want to talk about is rhinestoning. The first time that you guys saw this, I put rhinestones at the very top of the dress and then I started to work my way down and then I started to run out of rhinestones. So this is what happened. And a lot of burlesque babies get like really crazy about this. Like, oh, it's not finished. It's not... Don't do that because guess what? As you continue to perform the act, you can continue to add rhinestones. All right. Here we go, here we go. Can you see it? The dress. I don't have any shoes on right now because my shoes are downstairs. I'm still working on them. I just want you guys to see like the corset underneath the dress. It doesn't look smooth, but like when you're on stage, you don't even notice it. And eventually I plan to cover all of these white uh, spaces with crystals. Um, same with the black stripes, I wanna cover those completely in black uh, crystal so that I can use this costume again. This is a costume that I want to become a staple of mine over the years. I love Cruella de Vil. I've always loved Cruella. She's one of my favorite Disney villains. And then she got her new movie this year, so it worked out really perfectly that I decided to redo this costume and redo this act. I love it. I got so much wear out of it this Halloween and I'll continue to get wear out of it um, for many Halloweens to come. Oh, let me get the gloves. Here she is, Cruella in all her curvaceousness. You guys can see the gloves here. I've got these fabulous drag nails on there to give her a more claw-like look. I decided to add some feathers to the tops of the gloves to match the 
chair piece, obviously, and my bottom little bit of ostrich feather boa. I think this is definitely Cruella. But I mean, come on, if this isn't Cruella, I don't know what is. This is just giving me looks. At first you think Cruella is the devil, but after time has worn away the shock, you come to realize you've seen her kind of eyes watching you from underneath a rock. Ah. And then of course, I've got the reveal in the back, something that burlesque babies always forget about, something to make it easier to get your dress off tassels oh like the reveals are gonna are fantastic in this costume aren't you jealous i'm jealous of myself this looks so good all right everyone i've got my dress folded halfway down so i think i'm gonna go ahead and close out the video here but thank you guys so much for watching i know it's been a long time since i've posted a video but from now going forward hopefully you guys are going to be seeing a lot more of me before the end of the year so stay tuned hit that notification bell if you haven't already done so and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'm vera valentina your favorite burlesque youtuber and i'll see you guys in the next video